Mike Euler. I'm a fellow at Tanzanite Silicon Solutions. Tanzanite is a developer of CXL composable memory solutions. Tanzanite is the first company to demonstrate a unified architecture for both memory expansion and pooling. In the pooling example on the right, we have um, four CXL 1.1 hosts and four CXL 2.0 Tanzanite memory devices. Tanzanite's memory device is 2.0 compliant, but we have a unique feature that enables us to support CXL 1.1 hosts with pool. In today's demonstration, we're showing four Tanzanite memory devices and four hosts similar to the previous picture. Um, but in this particular case, each of the devices has two host links and another and two DDR links. Um, host 2 also has the Samsung memory expander card for additional memory. Um, each host communicates over the CXL links to the devices and there are nine total devices um, in this picture, the eight to the, the memory the memory pooling devices and one to the CXL expander. To make this real, here's a picture of the enclosure that we have all these devices in. The middle um, box, the purple box in the enclosure is the Tanzanite memory appliance. Above and below the um, appliance are um, Archer City platforms with Sapphire Rapid CXL 1.1 CPUs. Today's demonstration uses a graphics interface um, that communicates directly with the, the hosts and the um, Tanzanite memory devices. It talks to the memory devices by using the fa um, Fabric Manager agent by which we communicate Fabric Manager commands directly to the devices. In each one of these examples, we have a button that we can click to show um, the view of the memory device in terms of prevent, in terms of providing memory to the hosts, but particularly on these two. MD1, and it provides six gigabytes of memory to host one and four gigabytes of memory to host two. Similarly, MD2 provides four gigabytes of memory to host one and eight gigabytes of memory to host two. If we then look at the host view for host one, we see a similar view except in the opposite direction. So in this particular case, um, what the host is seeing is memory pr provided by three particular MDs of, of which I've showed the, the three. So what I'm gonna do now is switch to a window that shows the host view of what's going on at each host. What I've got running is stress tests on all four hosts talking to all nine memory um, interfaces. Um, we have run this thing overnight and sometimes multiple days with no errors and no failures, so it's very robust. Um, what I'm gonna do is show you how to reconfigure the memory for host one. Say it needs more memory to, to do some particular task. So I'm gonna stop the, the stress test on that particular host, let it quiesce. And now I'm gonna shut down the host because these are CXL 1.1 hosts and we can't reconfigure memory um, from a 1.1 host without rebooting it. So that uh, dropped the link, the, the window, because we shut it down. So now what I'm gonna do is go back to the the uh, GUI, and I'm going to run a script that we uh, pre-created uh, to reconfigure um, the CXL um, memory allocations to ACID2, which is the 
Ja, gut. And it finished. And if we now look at memory allocations for MD1 and MD2, which were the ones that were um, that changed the allocation, we see that host port A, which is the um, link to host one, now has 12 gigabytes of memory rather than the original six. And MD2 has eight gigabytes of memory rather than the, than the original four. So what we need to do now is restart um, the host one system so that it sees the, that new memory. But going back for a moment to the, oops. Going back for a moment to the host window. Note that I'm still continuing to run the stress tests on all three hosts. And so when we reboot host one, these stress tests are going to continue to run. We're back. I just rebooted host one and it's best the traffic that was being sent to all four memory devices um, up is unchanged. It's continuing to run. So we can reconfigure and reboot without changing, uh, in, without in, impacting any of the traffic that's going to the other um, entities. Now if we go back to the GUI and look at what the host view of the new allocation is. You'll find that, in fact, the MD1 and the MD2 allocations increased from their original values to the new value. I can then start up I can now start up the uh, stress test on this particular host and have it back to talking to the three MDs that it's talking to. Today's Tanzanite demonstration showed the industry's first CXL-based um, device with a unified architecture that supports both memory expansion and pooling. We showed large-scale pooling of four Tanzanite CXL 2.0 devices across four CXL 1.1 hosts. We showed the reconfiguration of the memory pool to add additional memory to the host without interrupting the high bandwidth operation to the other hosts. In conclusion, Tanzanite's memory pooling demonstration ushers in a new era of composable computing in the disaggregated data center. Tanzanite's purpose-built CXL-based devices enable the next generation with a wide variety of compute applications while simultaneously reducing the total cost of ownership for data center providers. Thank you.